It's a question that gets asked so many times by so many people. Am I legally okay to drive after drinking? It's a choice that's many times been the decision between life and death. Now a breathalyzer vending machine is giving drinkers a little help when making that decision. Patrons put in some money and grab a straw and wait for the machine to tell you to blow into the tube. It then reveals your BAC and lights up if you're under the legal limit to drive or not. Patrick Vondra with Clancy's says he likes patrons having another option. I have actually seen people who have used the device and then actually made a call to have somebody come pick them up. So I think in the end, I think that's the number one thing that we're looking for. Nightlife Vending says the Alco checkpoint is billed as a novelty device and doesn't hold vendors or bar owners liable. They've been installed at all three Clancy's in Omaha as well as six other places in just three months. You know, you hear that saying, friends don't let friends drive drunk. And it's really true. Now we all have the opportunity to use the machine as a service to look out for your buddies. Now the machine says don't smoke or drink 10 minutes before taking the test. And bar owners say the $2 is definitely worth seeing the success stories that are possibly saving lives. Bob Freshman with the Phoenix Bar and Grill says that it's making people aware and responsible. Judging from the number of cab rides we've had over the past uh, 30 days versus what it was before, I think people are taking it seriously. Though sold as a novelty device, vendors say the accuracy of the sensors inside the machine are within 0.01% as long as someone doesn't drink or smoke for 10 minutes before using it. They also recalibrate them about every two weeks. Regardless of the reason why somebody uses these machines, uh, they're going to have the idea that they shouldn't be drinking and jive and just reinforce every single time. Bar owners say they don't feel the alcohol checkpoint promotes irresponsible behavior or binge drinking because that's already in a person's behavior. But when it comes to asking the tough questions, the breathalyzer may stop someone from making a deadly decision.